Welcome back to AI Shorts, where we dive into the coolest advancements in the ever-changing AI landscape. Today's question is, can AI understand human emotions? We'll explore the challenges and limitations of AI in reading human emotions, including tone of voice, micro-expressions, and sarcasm. Emotion AI, as MIT puts it, is a subset of AI that measures, understands, stimulates, and reacts to human emotions. But there are significant challenges. The first issue is that we, as humans, can't exactly agree on what emotions are. Researchers in the field highlight that there's no universal definition of emotion. Psychology professor Lisa Feldman Barrett reviewed over a thousand studies to answer a crucial question. Can we accurately read emotions from facial movements alone? The short answer is no. Barrett points out that many AI companies claim they can look at a face and tell if someone is angry, sad, or scared. But that is just not true. Relying solely on facial expressions isn't enough to understand complex human emotions. An expert from New York University adds how emotionally intelligent people usually don't try to precisely label every emotion. Claiming someone is 80% angry and 20% sad just doesn't reflect actual emotional intelligence, or EQ, as some call it. There's also a troubling and real side to emotional AI, which is bias. Recent research reports show that AI tools like ChatGPT and Google's Gemini can be covertly racist. For example, they tend to misinterpret speakers of African-American vernacular English as less intelligent or less employable. Another study uploaded a set of player profile pictures from the NBA with Face++ and Microsoft AI. Since these pictures mostly have standard poses and angles and players are relatively homogeneous in certain dimensions, both Face++ and Microsoft AI created separate scores for how much a person is smiling and what emotion the face shows. When black and white players shared a smile, black players were assigned more negative emotions pointing to embedded racial bias in these tools. What do you think about the limitations and biases of Emotion AI? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe for more insights into the world of AI. Until then, stay curious.